Well, that was pretty cool getting the fans out there to call some plays. Just talk about how cool that experience was for you guys. Uh, that was sweet. You know, the guy come in the huddle and uh, uh, they struggled a little bit reading the play, but uh, uh, a couple of them called some really good plays. And, you know, we just wanted to have them out the way. You said that this week in Vero would be a big week for, for impressing you and then making it clear who the people are you're going to play this fall. Who showed you the most this week? Uh, everybody. Seriously. Seriously, sure. everybody. I mean, this this football team is really growing up, and um, I really can't single out guys. I mean, everybody's been working hard, and every day has been somebody different. And, and that's what's been gratifying for me and our coaching staff is, is that everybody's working hard, and there's someone new every day that's making plays. And, 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 and it's not taking a step back. I, I can honestly say that. Uh, Every day we took step four, you know, and we had enthusiasm out here every day. And uh, Kalika Mitchell came and spoke to our team last night, and he talked about embracing the suck. And I, I felt like our guys embraced the suck, you know, it's suck being out here in the sun all day long. And getting up early in the morning and play ball, but uh, those guys embraced that and had fun doing it and didn't complain about it. So that was really good to see. That let me know they, they willing to play no matter what. Cold, sleet, snow, hot, tsunami, it doesn't matter. They're ready to play ball. Coach, how do you feel the offense progressed over this week? I mean, implementing that and what you saw. Um, we came along. We came along again. We had some guys step up that um, didn't necessarily step up in, in the spring. They were there and there's some young guys that stepped up in the same place. You know, uh, and, that, and that was good to see. But I think the guys have a better feel for what they're doing now. You know, especially um, the quarterback Matt and Bobby really have a better understanding. And, and as practice went on, uh, Mike White and Coach, we didn't see as much of bench today. Is he just limited right now? Well, yeah, he got banged up yesterday. Um, uh, he rolled his ankle in practice yesterday, and we just didn't see him. He used to get him out sure. there and hurt him worse. But he could have won it. He actually wanted to go, but I wouldn't let him go. Any in particular today that showed you something that's just in the live drills you had today? Well, uh, I'd like say some of those backs running in the heart, you know, getting out of the red zone. And, uh, there's a lot of bodies in there. It's not a lot of field to go, but... Uh, I thought we did some good things. I thought we threw the ball in the flat pretty well, you know, in the red zone. Uh, moved the ball, but then also defense uh, stepped up at times. And then made plays. The thing I liked about it, we saw defense, we saw about five or six guys on the tackle. You know, we constantly say we want everybody to the ball. The more guys we get to the ball, the more plays we can make. We saw a lot of them in the practice.